In this sequence we use the tool to cut across end grain taking a series of light cuts to round over one end of this square stock. As we come towards the end of the curve, the top point of the tool can safely be used as it is now supported by the bevel rubbing against the work. The quality of the finish is exceptional and often needs little or no sanding. Used in a similar manner to a skew chisel, here the tool is producing a planing cut taking several light cuts with the bevel of the tool rubbing to provide support for the cutting tip and producing a burnishing effect behind the cut. As these close-ups clearly show, there is no evidence of any rip or torn grain. Moving on to an OG shape, where a cove and bead are combined into one flowing shape, the tool is opened up slightly once the cut starts to cut the cove section and is then rotated around and the handle lifted slightly to create the bead. Once again the quality of the finish straight from the tool speaks for itself. The spindle master can also be used for cutting V-cuts or creating pommels where square stock is cut down to round as often seen in furniture components. The method is again many light cuts, this time alternating from the left and right hand sides. Notice at the end of this cut the tool is lifted slightly to allow the tip of the tool to create a clean, sharp intersection at the centre of the V. Sharpening is quick and easy. Simply hone across the flat face of the tool with a diamond file or sharpening stone. Here we are using a medium grit or 40 micron diamond file lubricated with water.